This property made my investor £80,000 in just three months. They bought it, they refurbished it, they refinanced it, and now they rent it out and they get to keep it for life. And I'm gonna show you how you can do exactly the same. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Wilson. I am a property trader. And today we are in sunny Nottingham looking at this beautiful three bed semi-detached property, which I sold on to an investor. I then helped them do the refurbishments. I helped them refinance it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I helped them do that. So I came across this deal a couple of months ago. We arranged to buy the property from the seller. Then what I did was I then sold this deal, this property onto an investor. So the property never goes in my name, so there's no risk. And then I sold it on to an investor and they paid me a fee for that service. I then help them refurbish it, refinance it, create the value so they can get a higher refinance value and pull as much money out as possible so they can then go and buy more property. This is the secret formula to making massive, massive cash flow in property by trading properties onto investors. And later on in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how that works. So we're gonna take a look inside, but before we do that, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So let's go on a tour. So I remember the first time I came in here before, it was a completely different picture. So what we've done is, uh, I say we, our investor has had a whole new kitchen fitted. As you can see, quality fixtures and fittings, quality oven top, nice worktops, generally a nice place to be. So when we're doing refurbs and we're talking about replacing and fitting kitchens, we need to make sure that our kitchen, we don't want it to be, if it's buy to let, we don't want it to be too expensive. We don't want this to turn into a money pit. So it needs to be safe, clean cut and decent quality. So for example, there are various trading companies, magnet kitchens, Howdens that provide great, great quality kitchens. What I do as a landlord myself with a substantial portfolio is I will always put a minimum of a hob, be it gas or electric, and an oven in the kitchen, and then leave all the other white goods to the tenants so that they can bring their own in. That means that if any of those things break, any of those white goods break, means I don't have to pay to replace them. For me with my team, because I've got a fantastic refurb team and I've done a lot of projects with them, we can get a kitchen for about a thousand pounds. So that's a magnet kitchen at trade price. Uh, and that's pre-built carcasses as well, which means that they're not the lowest quality. They're a decent level quality. Uh, and that would include eight kitchen units. So what I mean by a unit is typically a cupboard like this. This is classed as a unit. It includes your worktops. It includes your lower level splashback. It includes your extractor fan, um, hob and oven, and your sink, taps and drainage and waste. Let's go into the lounge and take a look at the rest of the property. We've got nice carpets, beautiful uh, French doors, which let a lot of light in. Another window on the other side, carpet in throughout. Uh, what our investors done here is they've put some lino down because there's more traffic coming in from this side which will help potentially if you want a dining table there. So nice, big, bright rooms. I can remember before this property was really dull and dark and now it's fantastic, it's bright, it's fresh, it's clean and it's done to a really, really high standard. So this is a three bedroom semi-detached property. So let's take a look upstairs at the three bedrooms that we've got. We've got nice carpets throughout, nice bright hallway, it's quite an open hallway. So if we go into this bedroom, which is one of the bigger bedrooms, you can see this is a double bedroom. We can fit a double bed with bedside cabinets in here. Nice quality carpets, white walls. It's clean, it's nice, it's warm, it's dry, it's perfect. So we're gonna go into one of the smaller bedrooms. This is what we would class as a box room. Actually, from my experience, this is a pretty big box room. It makes for a three bedroom house for a young family. This is a great size, small room. So some small bedrooms are so boxy that you can't even get a bed in. As you can see, this is quite substantial. Let's take a look at the other bedroom, which again is a double bedroom. It's pretty uniform throughout. White walls, grey carpet, keep it simple. We want tenants to be able to walk into a house and see their own stuff, them living in it. So to paint it white and have grey carpets is a fantastic choice of colour. 
It also means that it's not going to show up too many marks on the carpet. So something that you don't see very often, and this is where the investor has gone to town with this refurb, is USB ports within the electrical sockets. For our investor to refinance this property, little bits like that are going to make all the difference for your reval. If you look here on the radiator, you can see that the investor has installed radiator thermostat controls, which means that that is going to make the house more efficient, it's going to bring down the energy costs for the tenants, and it's also going to help towards the revalue of the property. Boring is brilliant because when you're building a property portfolio and you've got multiple houses, let's say we paint this wall with Johnston's white paint and then one of the tenants scuffs the wall. Rather than have to paint the whole room or even the whole wall, we can just paint the scuff because we know the paint is uniform throughout the entire property. So all of my properties are whitewash walls with grey carpet. It's easy to replace and if you get any offcuts of carpet, like big offcuts, you can use them in your box rooms, you can use them as rugs uh, for other houses. So it's basically you're sharing materials across all of your portfolio, which is going to save you money. So let's go into the bathroom then. The bathroom admittedly is a small bathroom, but it's absolutely perfect and fit for purpose. It's small, it's clean, it's bright. We've got a bathroom, uh, full suite with shower over the bath. We've got the wet wall panelling, which actually is really easy to keep clean. It's really cheap in comparison to tiling to purchase the materials, but it's actually more expensive to fit. So actually, if you look at tiles versus wet wall, tiles are more expensive to buy and cheaper to put on the wall, but wet wall is cheaper to actually fit. So you're going to save time on your fitment. Actually, comparing the two, there's not much in it. But I do love the finish of the whole room being covered in this wet wall panelling. So we've got sink with cupboard, so you can put some bits and bobs in there, and toilet and a radiator as well to dry your towels, uh, which will also help with condensation. We've also got an extractor fan, which is a compulsory extractor fan. Big tip. As a landlord, if you turn your light on in your bathroom, it should automatically turn on your extractor fan, which will stop your tenants forgetting to put the fan on and stop them getting condensation in the house. The sound of savings. What is behind the door? Let's take a look. It's a boiler cupboard. So not only have we got cupboard space and storage space, but we've got a brand new combi boiler in the property. So previously, when the investor bought this property, this property had a back boiler, which is inefficient and out of date. Basically, to replace it with a combi boiler means that also that's gonna help with the revalue, it's gonna make the property more efficient, it's gonna bring down the energy costs for the tenants. So overall, this is a great investment into the property, again, which is gonna help the investor on their revaluation. So before I break down the numbers on this deal, are you looking to get your first property deal? Your first property investment? Are you looking to make £80,000 from just one property? There is a completely free property report which you can access and download now. The link is in the description. So this particular deal uh, came across my desk uh, just over a year ago now. And um, it was a motivated seller who we'd marketed to. And uh, the motivated seller was in fact the son of a couple that had passed away. So he wanted to move on. So he was motivated to sell the house quickly because it was bringing him emotional turmoil to stay there. So we agreed to buy the property uh, at 110,000 pounds. Now at the time, the house was really run down. So it was as it was when God was a lad, as I say. So as it was when it was built, really old fashioned flowery carpets, old fashioned kitchen, old fashioned bathrooms, uh, flowery wallpaper, on the ceiling and on all the walls. So it was really, really old fashioned and needed bringing up to date and modernizing. So we agreed to buy the property a little bit less than what it was worth. So at the time it was worth on a RICS valuation. So that's not me saying it's worth that, but the RICS valuation was 130,000 pounds. And we managed to agree the deal at 110,000 pounds. So we got a discount uh, on the property. Then what we did was because there is a discount, there's equity in that deal for whoever then buys it. So we had to then go and find an investor to buy that deal. So we presented the deal to our investor database. We've got over three and a half thousand investors in our database. And uh, one of our investors came forward and said, this is the perfect house for me in the perfect location. 
and the numbers work. So then what we proceeded to do was we agreed the deal, we went through all inquiries that the um, investor may have, and we then uh, agreed a fee with the investor. So what we did was we sold the deal to the investor and we charged them £3,000 as a fee to find that property. So it's classed as a finder's fee. And then what we did was we helped the investor to fund buying the property so that they could then refinance it and go on to a long-term lending product, a mortgage, for example. So because we also helped the investor to finance the property, we made an additional £5,000 on the finance as a commission. So we actually made £8,000 from this property as deal packages just by finding it and helping the investor buy it. And then what we did was we helped the investor refurbish the property and take it from being really, really run down to being absolutely beautiful, as you can see in the video. So we managed to take the property from what it was to what it is so that we're adding value. And then the investor, we then helped them to refinance it onto the long-term product, which is the mortgage, which they then got a valuation of £190,000. So just as a summary, they bought it for 110 and they refinanced it for 190. Okay. Now that house will rent out at £950 a month. £950 a month and they get to keep that house for the rest of their lives and cash flow from that house. Now full admission, the £950 a month, whatever they actually confirm the rent to be, isn't going to be the full amount that goes in their bank account because they've got to pay the mortgage payments, they've got to pay maintenance and management, etc. But on the whole, that is a fantastic deal because the investor has only left uh, net numbers £25,000 in this deal to be able to buy a property that they get to keep the asset for life. Cash flow, that is a 10% gross yield. That is a strong deal. And the property will appreciate probably about 4 to 5% a year. That property is going to be a massive asset that they get to keep for life. So you may have heard me refer to this as deal packaging, as sourcing and finding the property, finder's fee. These are all terminologies that we use as deal packages. So in property, uh, it's called deal packaging. And it's a strategy that I do as part of my property empire. So I'm a deal packager. I started out from nothing packaging deals. So what does that mean? It means that I find property deals for investors. Now, there's many different ways that you can bring value to your investors. Uh, and that's the key to being a good deal packager, bringing value. So for example, you've got a property and it's worth whatever it's worth in its current condition as it is. Now, as a deal packager to bring value, for example, for a buy to let, I want to get it at a discount. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing value in the equity that the investor then buys the property and they've got the discount. Now, there's many different ways that you can package deals because in fact, if you take the property and turn it into a house of multiple occupancy, so you've got more than one person living in it paying rent, or you turn it into serviced accommodation, you're then adding value. So the property's cash flowing much, much higher than it would as a single let property. And then you're adding value that way. So there's many different ways. There's tens of different ways that we can package deals as um, property deal packages. But what I focus on in my business is below market value. So I'm looking to find properties that are typical buy to lets for a single family to rent and I get them at massive, massive discounts. And then I help my investors to buy those with the funding, with the lending. I then make a commission on the lending and then I help them to refurbish, add the value, refinance and pull all of their money out as much as possible. So they're leaving in as little as possible which gives them more cash to go and buy more property. And that's the key to building a great, strong portfolio, to having as much cash back in the bank as possible to keep buying more property. People think that property investing is all about just buying a house, renting it out and making some profit. Yeah, that is a way of buying property to make a profit by renting it out. But that is not the sophisticated way of building a property empire. If you want to build a property empire, there are many different strategies that you can learn so that you can accelerate the growth of the build of your portfolio and your wealth. And as a deal packager, I believe strongly that deal packaging is the starting point for anyone looking to get into property to not only create the massive cash flow by selling the deals onto investors, 
but to be able to use creative techniques to acquire property deals in all sorts of different ways so that you can build a massive property portfolio. We're in unprecedented times and for those unsophisticated property investors, they're going to get scared. This is the best time to buy. But the best strategy that you can implement right now is deal packaging because deal packaging is completely recession proof. So no matter what's going on with inflation, with rising interest rates, with rising cost of living, deal packaging is the perfect strategy because number one, it's low risk. All we're doing is agreeing a contract and selling it onto an investor with no money in for us. So the risk is really, really low. But the best reason to start deal packaging, and you need to start this now, is because it's all about to start with people struggling with the cost of living and continually increasing interest rates, then people are going to start to struggle to pay their mortgage. If we can come up with a creative solution and a win-win situation to be able to help them and help us and we make money whilst we're doing it, then that is a great place to be. So you need to learn how to package deals now so that you can be there to help those people for when the mud hits the fan. So because we're in these unprecedented times, you need to know what you're doing to be able to make money in property and not lose money in property. So if you want to build a massive property portfolio, if you want to learn to package deals and make massive, massive cash flow, low risk every single month, then you need to download our free report, which is in the description. Download that report right now. So if you've enjoyed this video, like, subscribe and hit the bell. And if you want to watch another video, you can watch it right here. I've been Katie Wilson. You've been brilliant. Hope to see you soon.